here at Salmon's Art Gallery. I feel so expensive, I feel cultured. Today is an exciting day. Today is a big day. My friend Sammy, she's having an art show. Yeah! She invited me like a while ago. I got a special invite to an art show. Yes, I'm cultured. Yes, I'm glamorous. I'm, I'm friends with artists. Going there with my friends. We're going to eat and then we're going to go to the function. Honestly, we're going to take you with us. Enjoy the ride. Live in the moment. Be inspired. Let's get into it. The following events occurred a year ago during the pre-COVID era of December 2019. Please obey the health guidelines and safety regulations as recommended by the World Health Organization and your local government. Two of these super awesome people, known to most people as Alexis and Katie, but known to me as Lex and Kat, came over to get ready for my friend Sammy's art show. You can call her that, because Sammy isn't short for anything. She's my height. First, we went out for pizza, but I'm not fond of pizza, so I got poke. It sounds like it hurts, but it doesn't. When we got to the venue, we ate some more because crackers and cheese are my favorite snack, second only to Trevor Noah. There was also cake, but I was trying to be classy, so I didn't want to take too many pictures so they'd know that I had home training. Enjoy this montage of discreetly filmed video clips from the event. So, my name is Agartu Ali. Um, I'm a current Victoria High School student. Uh, I was the class youth poet laureate, and a little bit about what that entailed was presenting spoken word pieces to the city council during their city hall meetings. And it was really interesting because it was works that you know, obviously were important to me, and it was just expressing myself in a very predominantly white space, in a predominantly white male space. So that was a little bit of something that caused a lot of anxiety, but ultimately kind of equipped me with the tools to be like, you know what, if I can do it there, I can do it anywhere. <laughs> yes. 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 How to break a curse. Look into your reflection for 40 days. Fast until your sweat becomes crystallized and spit turns to ashes in your mouth. Practice your alchemy in the bathroom, create concoctions to conjure golden fleece from wool, calcify your curls until the cauldron of castor oil and shea butter burn the house down. Call this hair care. Mm. When your nieces can't find Barbies that look like them, give them wow. voodoo dolls to cast away their enemies. Remind them to love themselves. Remind yourself to love yourself. Tell yourself this is easy. But generations of curses have hardened you. You are still practicing to balance the burdens your mothers have bore. This is your bloodline. What you were born from sand and sinew to do to sculpt men from the marble of boys that they so desperately cling to. While well, you have raised daughters to love the disobedience of their hair, their bodies, their skin, the rhythm in their chest that refuses to stop despite all those opposed. You tamed mm. the beasts that kill your sons in the name of justice, stared into the barrel and blown the bullets back at them, laid the bodies at their doorstep and made a funeral pike of their homes. You corrected those who confuse you for their mothers when they ask you how you did it. Remind them of the slave woman who sparked the Salem witch trials. Remind them how your women have been burning ever since and answer black magic. It's called the Unity Mandela. And essentially what this piece represents is how can you represent individuality in a collective? And what you're seeing is the beginning piece. Bring this project to schools where we get individuals to paint one hanger each and then we make one big mandala together as a unity. So the project is kind of from like school graduation ceremonies where everybody paints a piece and everyone can feel that uniqueness in themselves, but also they see that they, the piece can't be created by themselves. They have to be created with everyone together. Kind of when I heard about this project, I was just kind of like thinking of something else that also brought me joy. I was just like, my hair is a big part of my life and I'm very close to my other sister and we both kind of started our hair journeys together starting from like not knowing how to do our hair at all and it was yep. like really Move. bad and then <laughs> starting to like understand our hair and understanding where it came from and like, yeah so I'm gonna represent that on being of color and a woman on being a woman of color and a student my opinions are not aggressive 
This tongue is not a knife and these words cannot attack you. Believe me when I say a well-structured argument is not a means to make you uncomfortable. And this skin is something me and these words live in and I am not responsible for how you feel. Yeah. When feelings and passion is my only way of mapping all this sharp stitch silver line and maybe she didn't mean it like that, calm down, don't take it so personally. But personally, I feel like you telling me not to raise my voice beyond a whisper, beyond a nothingness is not only sexist and racist, but a physical embodiment of you staking me with my seat at the table, of you choking me with shards of glass ceiling and dual meaning we both know you really believe in. Do not confuse me for your competition. I do not concern myself with the petty dwaddlings of the mortal man, and I understand you are offended. Because being this dark and fly is insulting. I mean, really, it must be infuriating for you to be my teacher, but me teaching you the art of being schooled. No one hey. thinks you're joking. No one thinks just saying I'm not singling you out can reverse the fact that you did, and it's naive to believe that ignorance can only thrive in backwater environments and between the folds of rednecks, because wow. ignorance does not equate a lack of education. You sent me that the theme would be black joy, and I was like, you know what? I get a lot of joy from superheroes, but even more specifically, like seeing black representation over like since I was like eight years old, like it's come pretty far in comparison. I did a lot of research though because I wanted to get the ones that had a large impact in the movies and didn't die the first like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like see how long they lasted through the movie. And, like, so it took yeah. me a few hours just to like start. And I do it all on Adobe Illustrator. Storm, I think she was the first one I was like, I know I'm going to do Storm. <laughs> like 100%. Um, and then just from there, like evolved and I was gonna do seven characters and I was like mm, the seventh will just be like all of them together because unity and like maybe they found each other in another universe you know time dimensions mm -hmm. nerd <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the paparazzi, yes. <laughs> the paparazzi angles. Yes, work, okay. The theme of the show was Black Joy. Each of the artists interpreted the theme using a different medium. There were poems, photography, paintings, and physical pieces. All of these artists are amazing, and I wish I remembered their names. We're doing amazing stuff. Darlings Art Gallery. I feel so expensive. I feel cultured. Cat is here. Lex is here. I like some of the Gaga songs. What the f does she know about cameras? We are, we are ready. Are we there and are we here? We're ready to cheer. <laughs> yeah. Were you really there if you didn't have a photo shoot? Yeah. There's only one correct answer to that question. Also, make sure to check out the video description for Sammy's Instagram and website. She's super talented and the creative direction she went after this is incredible. She even got reposted by some pretty famous people I think you might know about, so definitely go check her out. Although we never did get that personal interview, what we did discover is that more than half of the attendees were Sammy's friends. 
<laughs> we even had some mutuals that I wasn't aware of. It was such a fun time with good music, with great art, beautiful people. This space made me realize that art shows are less about the art and more about the atmosphere created. But wow, what a moment I will never forget. A moment that is most pleasing to me in my career. There was joy radiating off everybody's face the entire time. It's rare that I felt so seen in a crowded room.